You might not see it, but hard water is slowly wrecking your pipes, your water heater, and even your wallet. And if you're not paying attention, it's only gonna get worse. Mineral buildup, clogged pipes, reduced efficiency of appliances, corrosion, soap scum and residue, and water spotting on glassware, dry skin and hair, faded clothing, frequent repairs, unpleasant taste. These are all things that are caused by hard water. This video is sponsored by Leak Pro. Go check out leak-pro.com. Okay, first of all, your pipes, and not just your pipes, but your appliances. There are certain things that hard water does. Hard water is actually the calcium and magnesium buildup in the water that actually, well, it comes out in your appliances. The thing about hard water is you notice it where there's a change in pressure, where it goes from high pressure to low pressure. That's normally where you get the buildup. So I want you to think about this. Water's flowing through your pipes. Well, when you open a faucet, your pressure goes down. So it starts attaching to the inside of your pipes. Now, I've taken out water heaters that literally, if you looked at the dielectric nipple on the top of it, it was completely full. I mean, packed with calcium and magnesium. Now, opening up the water heater, looking inside the water heater, you had the sediment build up in the bottom. You know, you flush your water heater once a year to help get out the calcium and magnesium buildup. But if you're not doing it, it's building up, it's filling up the bottom of your tank, it's getting on your element, it's getting everywhere. And you're having to work through that to heat the water. So having your water treated before it goes into these is huge. And if you've got a tankless water heater, it's required. Read the manufacturer's recommendation. We recommend that you put a pre-filter on the water coming into this water heater or your warranty will be voided. Yeah, that's a strong recommendation. Here's the thing. It's not just the pipes. It's not just the water heater. These hard water problems, they lead to issues through your appliances, your ice maker, your dishwasher, your washing machine, any appliance that you have that has water running through it. If you've got hard water, it's actually working on these things. It's causing problems for them. And you may not realize it. If you've got one of those toilets that for some reason you have to have the plumber come out and rebuild it every year because it just quits working right, well, guess what? It doesn't just quit working right. Something is wrong with it. And nine times out of 10, hard water is the problem. A lot of plumbers don't even check the water when they come out. I used to love walking into a house and seeing these signs and then asking a customer, would you like me to test your water and show you what problems you have? High chlorine is a problem, but hard water really causes damage. Now, we know that the water has to come to us without mold, mildew, and bacteria in it. The only way municipalities can do this is by adding chlorine, adding chemicals to help keep the water, mold, mildew, and bacteria free all the way to our house. But what happens when the water gets to our house? Well, we should probably treat it because we don't want that chlorine in our bodies. Read the reports, see what chlorine and things like that do to you. So treating your water is something that we should all be doing, but is it just the chemicals? No, we need to be treating the hard water too. And you can actually do a pH test on your water to see what are your water levels like. If you've got hard water, it's something you may wanna address. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't want super soft water. I don't want a water softener. I don't like that slimy feeling. Now, if you love it, you think that's a silky feeling. And I completely get that. But understanding that there's ways to treat that, to eliminate the chlorine and eliminate the hardness, doing things like this and treating your water is a great thing for you. It's a great thing for you to do to help make your appliances last longer and help you take better care of your family by not allowing the chemicals to get in their systems. Now. What the hardness does and what the chlorine does to your body, your hair. One of the tests that we do for people when we know that their chlorine level is really high, we'll fill up two cups of water from their tap. We'll have them put their hand down in one of them. And then the other one we'll pour in the test kit and we'll do the test. Normally what will happen is we'll test the water and we'll see that the chlorine level is really high. Now it takes a couple of minutes to do that. 
Then what we'll do is we'll ask them to take their hand out. We'll dry it off. Then we'll take the cup they had their hand in. Now, we'll rinse out the testing cups, pour the water of their tap water into it, and we'll test it again just like we did it straight out of the other cup. But normally, this chlorine level is a lot lower. The reason being is our bodies absorb the chlorine. They absorb the chemicals right out of the water. So what do you think happens when you take your baby and put them in a tub that's filled with water that has too much chlorine in it? Their body just starts absorbing it. So that's why this is something we truthfully recommend. It's not good for your hair. It's not good for your body and it's not good for your skin. And your skin is your largest organ and it absorbs this chlorine. There are some signs to help you look out for things to know if you have hard water, like a mineral buildup. If you've got a white powdery substance around your shower head or in your shower, maybe even on your lavatories, that's a sign. If you have clogged pops on a regular basis, that could be another sign. That could also be a sign of just a break. If you're noticing a reduced efficiency on your appliances, is your water heater not getting as hot as it used to be? Are you getting corrosion in your pipes? Are you getting soap scum that builds up on your sinks and the residue left behind that? Another big sign is water spotting on your glassware and your dishes and any clogged appliances. Does your dishwasher drain slower than it used to? A lot of this can just be hard water. And look at your skin and feel your skin. Do you have dry skin and hair? Are your clothes fading faster than you normally think they should? Are you calling out plumbers for frequent repairs? Or if you're a DIYer, do you have toilets that you have to fix more often than you think you should? And what about your water? How does it actually taste? I want you to think about things like this because these are things that you need to be on the lookout for. This video was sponsored by Leak Pro, leak-pro.com. If you're a plumbing company owner or you're a plumber and you want to learn how to improve your skills, your services, the value you bring to your customers each and every day, go to leak-pro.com, check out the training, check out the equipment, and it'll help you take care of your customers better. Now guys, we've told you things about your hard water and things about it, but if you really want to solve your problems, check out this Halo video because I think their system will help you take care of the problems that we've talked about today. And if you love this video and you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on anything.